Are you ready for some good news? The gospel is the cure for worry. Here's today's text in Ephesians chapter 2. For he himself is our peace, who has made us both one, and has broken down in his flesh the dividing wall of hostility by abolishing the law of commandments expressed in ordinances, that he might create in himself one new man in place of the two, so making peace, and might reconcile us both to God in one body through the cross, thereby killing the hostility. Worry is rooted in a futile, painful, hypothetical question. What if? What if? What if people don't accept me? What if I can't get my finances in order? What if the medical report is bad? It's a diabolical question because it's designed to focus you upon a negative experience that hasn't happened and probably won't happen. Worry is especially agonizing because there's no grace for hypothetical situations. God's mercy is new every morning. Whatever future challenge you might face, God's grace will meet you right in the midst of it. His, com His compassions will fail not. He'll help you in your time of need. But how can God transform a situation that's only imaginary? Worries, what if, always has a negative answer. But the gospel solution is a different kind of what if. What if God has accepted me and the beloved? What if God is a constant provider? What if God is a healer? What if something wonderful? So next time the worries, what if questions plague your thoughts, think about all the assurances of the gospel and reframe the question in light of the good news. Worry need not be a way of life. And that's the gospel. That's today's daily devotional, and I uh, hope that uh, you'll click on some more just like them here. Or better yet, subscribe to this channel. Hope you have a great day.